It's Cindy, physical therapist, coming to you from the shower. Today we're talking about a suction cup grab bar. Now, let me preface this. This is not my first choice uh, for people in the shower, in the bathtub, somewhere for a safety bar. I prefer the ones that are anchored in with screws um, into studs. That's going to be your best bet. If you cannot do that and have to have something, it is so hard to find a good suction cup grab bar. But I believe I've found one. So trying this one out, it is Mamba Quarter, I believe. It comes in a two pack. Um, I saw it, I thought, you know what, I really need to try this out. So basically what you have is you have this round suction cup. Now, it has to go on a smooth surface. It cannot go on anything porous, anything with any little roughness to it, can be on a painted wall, those types of things, smooth surface. The other thing with this in particular is because of the, the size of this suction cup, you have to have at least a five and a half by five and a half square area that you, you don't hit grout or don't hit something like that. So you have to have a big tiled um, area for this to work. So how do you do this? You're going to take a damp cloth. You're going to wipe off the area that you're going to put it on. Okay. You're also going to wipe off this uh, suction cup. Now you want this really dry, both, both sides or both areas really dry. Um, you don't really want something that's going to leave what I call some fluff on this suction cup. So you want it to be good and clean so that it is going to hold. All right. Next thing you do is you take this suction cup, you're going to place it and then you're going to push into the wall. And as you can see, it has a red indicator line here. Okay, so you want to pump this so that it starts to suction and you want that red indicator line to disappear. Okay, just like that. So now you have your suction cup on the wall. I'm really impressed with this one, but I'm going to tell you again, these are not for full weight bearing. These are for stability and you need to have something that you can tell that if there's a problem or the suction cup has released, you've got to check these every single time. Now with this one in particular, this little dial or this little thing right here that you pump down, it will start as a loose suction. It'll start to come up and you'll see that red line. You'll need to then pump it again for it to be ready to go. Again, going to reiterate, these are not for full weight. Okay. This is for stability, getting in and out. But I'm going to tell you, actually, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this one. And if I had to, as a secondary choice, I would probably recommend this.